So a quick video today, I have a 2012 535i. It currently has a leak in the cooling system and pretty much I took out the fan and all the top pieces right here. It's just so I could see down there better, even on the tray. Cause I wanna see where the heck the coolant is leaking from. Cause the water pump and thermostat was changed like, let me see, early this year, around February. So checked around there and didn't see any leaks or anything like that. So it feels like it's a slow pinhole leak. I was thinking it was coming out from over here, from the radiator cap, not radiator cap, but the expansion tank cap or one of the lines or something like that. So I got this radiator pressure test kit from uh, Harbor Freight. So I used it once before and yeah, comes with all these different fittings that you could put on any kind of make or model or whatever. But for this car, we're going to be using this one. And here's the pump and that's all you need pretty much. So I have the end cap and the pump and connector all right here. And all we gotta do right now is go ahead and take this uh, the cap off. And I'll also make sure that the fluid is already filled up and also bleed out the system before I even start this process. So just take the end cap, screw it down, and then take this piece right here. It's like a quick lock. Here it locks in, you're good to go. And all I'm gonna do now is just pump it up to about like 20 PSI, 20, 18, somewhere around there. And go around and check and see if I see any water dripping or anything like that. So I can see the leak right now and it's looking like it's coming from up there on top of the belt and it's dripping down to here. But the only thing is from that area, it doesn't seem to be anything on the major coolant lines. So checking from the top and see if I can see where it's coming from. And here we go, we have our drip. So currently it's this upper radiator hose. It like it has like a crack down here or it's deteriorating. So pretty much it's leaking and dropping down on the belt. And yeah, so like this whole part right here gotta be replaced. So need to go order one, get this fixed. But all in all, everything else is not leaking. It's pretty much good. All right, so now that we have the test done, and as you can see, I had that 20 PSI, and now it's down to like 18 PSI, so there's definitely a leak, and in this case, it was leaking out from over here. So that's where all the air was escaping from. So what we're gonna do now is just push this button, release the pressure. and disconnect everything. Unscrew and return this back on. I don't want nothing falling in there. So I'll go order this part right here and just wait till it comes in and replace it. So yeah, uh, worth its money and it'll pretty much help me out a lot. Especially when I'm like working on water pumps and thermostats. And you know when sometimes you put it back together and all of a sudden you find out that you have another leak. So this will help me alleviate that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.